In case you missed it, I am here in Kona, Hawaii, and we are under two weeks away from race day. It feels amazing to be back on the Big Island. I haven't been here for three years since the last race here. It definitely feels like such a familiar place. Like I always get off of the plane here and there's just good memories from being here. I've obviously raced here as an amateur and a professional athlete and every race I've had great experiences. I've actually been here supporting Reese when he raced in the amateur race and I wasn't. So I've seen both sides of this race from the race course to the spectator side and I've always loved my time here. So it feels incredible to be back, especially given the start of the year that I had. I really thought that I wouldn't be back here. So just kind of pinching myself when I'm out training, riding my bike, running here, just that I'm actually here and healthy is just amazing. So. I think whatever happens in the race is just going to be a bonus. Some care for kids. <laughs> That's what I am. A kid. Some care for kiddie winks. I met a girl in Dallas who <laughs> made this for me. She was wearing one of our Battle Brains t shirts. Awesome. You know, matter the quantity and capable. We go to remate you, they break it down. As you can see, the guests ready to ride along. I know fit to come to the stop to the shala, yeah. Any wrong moves, nigga, go try by, yeah. I hear them, they sorrow, they sorrow, come and call me. Come and call me. What's up, go, what's up, go, go lay by me. Go lay by me. Anything I'm like sea spiders. Oh, they're chasing each other on that. Don't get your feet on them. No, no, no. Those are nice to see. No, no, no. They're lovely now. Ah. Yeah. We have this bit because the pros get to use those toilets. Oh. It looks so much bigger. Yeah, I don't understand how to make it seem so big. Go to like say you know Sabi, you know Sabi. Yeah, so we came straight to Kona immediately after racing in Dallas. When I actually set out my race calendar at the beginning of the year before I got injured, Dallas was not a race that I was going to do because I was going to have a really heavy race part of the early part of the season. So actually, once we got the all clear to start racing again after my injury, we thought that Dallas would be a great prep for Kona. We knew it was going to be hot and obviously it's on the way to travel into Kona. So we kind of planned it and factored it in as a race in the build up to Kona as almost a last big hit out session before racing here. And to be honest, the conditions couldn't have been better for prepping for a hot race here in Hawaii.
So yeah, the recovery has been going pretty well since Dallas. We obviously flew immediately after the race, so I naturally was going to need a recovery day the day after the race, so we used that as a complete day off with travel. And then the following day, pretty much just got into some light training, got the body moving again, and then have been able to pretty much do those final preparations for the race, which obviously are still going on, but we've been ticking those last boxes that need to be ticked. Yeah, good. I've never swam in this pool before. We're actually staying in Waikoloa, so we've actually never stayed here before either, so we're a little bit further away from the race. But yeah, it just feels good to get back on the island. It's obviously been such a long time since we've been here. So yeah, just coming in landing yesterday just felt really nice just to be back. And even though there's such a big race, I always get here and just feel so chilled because of, I guess the environment is such a chill place. So. Yeah, a little flop around in the pool this morning, just getting some blood flow really from recovering from the race in Dallas at the weekend. Yeah, hopefully the body will start to feel a bit better soon. So I guess just a quick debrief of the race in Dallas. It definitely had a lot of things that went wrong and probably the most things that have ever gone wrong in a race for me. So I'm hopeful that we've got all of that out of the way before the race here. I think it's always good to have a bit of a hit out race, testing things like nutrition and equipment before you go and race your big A race, which is obviously this one here in Kona. Yeah, we had a few nightmares. First one being that my rear bottle obviously fell off the bike very early on into the bike. We still don't actually know why this happened. I've trained with their bottle cage in that setup for training with a 750 mil bottle, which is more weight than the 500 that I had on. It's never fallen off, so I don't really know why that happened. Obviously, it's frustrating in a race when it's that hot to lose your nutrition, but well, I couldn't do anything about it basically, so I just had to use the aid stations and make the best out of the situation as possible. Very early on into the bike, I also realized that I couldn't change gear and I was in the biggest gear on my setup. The battery was fully charged in the morning, it had a green light. We don't know why this happened. Maybe the heat affected it, it might have overheated from being sat in transition. Yeah, so I'm not actually going to be running the same setup here in Kona so hopeful that that won't happen and then in terms of me dropping bottles I think the main thing with that was I'd never actually intended to put a bottle behind me I knew I could take it out and fill up but because the aid stations were so short in Dallas there wasn't really any time to throw the bottle and I didn't want to get a littering penalty so we've changed that setup as well for Kona so I don't think we'll have any issues there but again really good to just kind of get those things out of the way before racing the big one here because you definitely don't want to lose your nutrition in this race because you probably wouldn't finish because it's so much longer. So lots of lessons learned, lots of positive takeaways, still absolutely over the moon to get on the podium when again I didn't actually think I'd be back racing at this point in the year. So yeah, very happy to make it back on the podium against some really class athletes. Are they new? Brand new. Brand new colourway. No, it's their new colourway. I, I've, I don't know if I have had an input on this one or I voted on something, but I don't know if it was this one. Green. They've had pink. They've had orange. They've had green. It's got blue. Yeah, I think a blue. Is it going to be a blue? We haven't actually looked, by the way. Either, so I think we are right. This is the fastest colour update. Fastest, <laughs> oh wow, they're nice. They would have looked so good in Dallas in my Dallas kit. They do look nice though. That's what you're going to Yeah. Yeah. Oh wow, well. I bet it's going to look really cool, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, yeah, it already looks that cool. <laughs> Did you get that? <laughs> it's a panic pump. Yeah. Normally you need a canister. One oh, of right, the flash right. pumps yeah, yeah, where yeah. it just goes... Yeah. Right. yeah. Woo! Well done. It's one done.
Oh no, these aren't the right ones. They're the... Huh? Vanderpool edition. Oh, yes. Yes. This is the first ride on the island on the new bike. I have obviously rode something that didn't look quite as cool as that in Lanzarote, but ultimately it should be exactly the same feel. Only thing that is kind of ruining my street cred is the non-matching tyres but that will be fixed for race day. I did have to race Dallas without matching tyres because we had a bit of a puncture pre-race. But other than that I think it would be really cool to just test the setup in the conditions of race day. We're going to climb up to Harvey today and see how it feels in the wind but yeah just excited to get out on it. You can't ride in the hard shoulder because it's full of yeah. You can't ride in the road because it's dangerous. Yeah. So. Pretty much once we got the green light to go and race, which obviously my first race was in Slovakia at the World Triathlon Long Distance Championships. Pretty much after that race, I was confident that I could come here and race in Hawaii. And then we started to adapt my training to obviously suit this longer distance. So my training leading up until Dallas and obviously now had been a lot more focused on trying to do the Ironman distance because as much as Dallas was a huge race, Kona is such a big race, not just in the sense that it's a world championship, but if you don't respect 
the course and the conditions of this race, you just will not finish. So we had to really turn our focus to me getting here in a position where I couldn't just race to try and do well, but also just race to know I can confidently finish in these conditions. This is Soraya from Wahoo, which is my new Element Rival watch, special edition. I had shorts somewhere. Oh yeah. Oh, this has got shorts somewhere. Short shorts somewhere. Could they be any shorter than them? No, they Oh yeah. So I'm going to do my last long run here in Kona using this today just to check it all works, get it right for the race. So I better put it on charge. But very cool. So pumped. He's put it way on. So pumped. Ready? Yeah. Go then. It's not a bad place to do a long run. It's not. I'm not even sweating, am I? I'm making light white of that heat compared to me. Right, go on then. Right then. Right then. Don't go mad with them on. No, same I'm just going to keep it the same easy. effort, but with yeah. these ones. Yeah. Oh yeah, baby. Oh, this is oh, yeah. Scottish band, wet, wet, wet. Oof. Super wet. Well, there's two towels there. Yeah. Oh. Really well done. Impressive. As always.
Is it cold? Yes. Oh wow, it's frozen. No, it's not frozen. Come on. It's nice and cold. Oh, it's a sip. It was very nice. Mm. Now don't chuck it away because we can crack it open and then you can eat the uh, eat, eat the jelly inside. So that's just pure coconut water. Pure coconut water. So we're coming up on just under two weeks out from the race. I will do my last long ride and last long run. And then after that, we'll just start to sharpen up. So there will always be quality in my workouts, particularly on the swim. But we will just shorten those workouts down and start to freshen up because you need to be fresh and fully tapered for this race. There's no way you can go into this race unrested. So yeah, I'm still feeling quite tired at this point, but I know as we get closer to the race, I'll start to freshen up and feel ready to go. He's grey, but there's a little dog. Yeah. And I want to see the little dog. <laughs> oh, it's cute. I'll be saying hello to that. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Do you like my sweat? <laughs> it's salty. Hello? Don't see you on the bike. Oh, nice picture. Oh, okay. yeah. when I was diagnosed with the hip stress fracture I really did dream about being here but it felt like so far away and out of touch and at the same time I just didn't want to put that pressure on myself because I knew that all of my energy needed to go into healing and mending the injury so as much as in the back of my mind there was this dream of being here I almost just didn't want to think about it I knew I just needed to spend all of my time healing resting and letting my body do what is needed now sat here being here really does feel like a dream come true and I'm just so thankful for the incredible team of people around me that have helped me get here and even some of the specialists maybe thought it wasn't going to be possible but with their help we are here and I'm feeling actually in a good position to have a good race which at the beginning of the year it would have just been a dream to be here but I do feel like I'm actually in a position to have a good performance as well so yeah dreams can come true uh, with amazing team of people around you. Are you alright? No, not impressed. Don't like that. Why is your bum hole on me? Rubbing yourself against you. There's some things I won't tolerate. There's a cat's bum hole on me. Nice, <laughs> Do you know whether to put that in the main video or at the end? <laughs> Always, thanks for watching this video that's been a bit of an update and what it looks like here in Kona for the first week of training and yeah make sure to stay tuned because I'm sure we'll be sharing more of our journey here in Kona leading up until the race and hopefully a post-race video as well as always make sure to like and subscribe